Okay, in today's video, we are going to check out this part of the price action in Yasmin Coins price chart a bit more and see are we going to get a move up in here and if we are going to get that move on the upside, is it going to be a promising sign or maybe something else is going to be in play? So, with that said, hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you are having a great time with your family and loved ones. And in this video, we are going to check out Yasmin Coins price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott waves and also classic technical analysis. Now, at first, we are going to check out the bullish structure in here. Let's just go around this area. Excuse me. Okay. You see, in terms of Elliott waves, if you want to argue that we're going to have our final bottom around this region, maybe this is going to be like a very important support, then you need to be able to find off of the lowest low a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave up. This specific example is a normal 5 wave. The rules for it are we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave 2 and 4 and in any kind of impulsive structure, wave 3 right in here shouldn't be the smallest wave and for sub waves you know it if you are a regular viewer five wave up into wave one three and five let's just run them real quick there we go and for wave two and four for our corrections we can have different possibilities doesn't really matter that much let's say maybe wxy into four and an abc structure into wave two and if we can find this thing off of the recent low slow in the coin, then okay, we can be technically bullish and we can absolutely consider the bullish scenario. Let's go on the live chart and see what is going on. So, this is the confusing point on the coin chart because we can actually find a 5 wave on the upside in this area. And for example, let's actually go on maybe H1 time frame so you can see the structures a bit better. There we go. I can tell you maybe. This is going to be a 1, 2, 3, 4, and another move up into wave 5. And if you want to be bullish in Yasmin coin and you want to say that the bottom is in, then okay. This move down for you is going to be a correction structure. We can have different patterns for it, but I think the most likely one in here is going to be an ABC, probably in form of a running flat. Here is how a running flat looks like this is going to be our initial move down into a correction for wave b which in it we are going to take this side and then another move down into our select and this is a very important point in this move we are not going to take the low of our a leg and for the sub waves we are going to have a b c down into a let's change colors to white there we go a b c up or maybe a WXY into wave B and a 5 wave on the downside into our C leg. Let's go on the live chart and again count some waves. So I'm thinking this can be from this high and A, B, C, zigzag down, followed by that. We may have another A, B, C this time on the upside and from this high to about here. I think we talked about it before. This can be like a 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave down into wave 3, correction for 4, and another move down into wave 5, and on a higher degree, we are going to have in this area, basically an A, B, C, in form of a running flat structure, and again, the reason that this pattern is a running flat is because in our C leg, we didn't take the low of wave A. Now, on a higher degree, this is going to be, if I just do this, okay, from the lowest low five up into one correction for wave two and after our correction we are going to have a big move up into wave three four five in order to set all-time highs and take the highest side about i believe it is four and a half cents so according to this scenario in yasmin coin this thing might actually be the beginning of a new uptrend which again in it we are going to set new highs now do we have another possibility? The answer is yes. You see, there is a chance that this whole move on the upside to about this point is going to be instead of an impulse, an ABC on the upside, a zigzag, which the subways for it are going to be like this. One, two, three, four, five up into a correction for wave B, let's say short ABC, and then again, another five up into wave C. 
And we said that a couple of minutes earlier that this can be an ABC on the upside. You see, it can also be an impulsive structure. Let's go on our own chart. I think it was from crypto.com. Yep, there we go. You see, according to this scenario, we are having a 5 wave up in here. That's fair enough. Into now a larger degree A leg. And then this is an ABC down, probably a flat structure into wave B. And this can be a 1, 2, 3, 4. And then another move up into wave 5 into our C leg. Now, according to this scenario, we are going to at one point probably soon in Yasmin coin see a move on the downside in order to take the lowest line here for the first target around let's say 1.6 now it's not just Yasmin coin in a lot of altcoins i do actually based on the recent structures believe that we are going to get this move on the outside and one very important reason for it is that well unfortunately in bitcoin i also do see a decent move down and i'm going to argue that this move up starting from this point to somewhere around this high in yasmin coin looks at least for now very very weak that's why for me at least makes perfect sense to consider the bearish possibility which suggests that we are having an abc on the upside as my primary case now if this bearish scenario is in play then we are going to have still from this high a one two three four five wave down but the difference relative to the previous scenario which was bullish is that this 5 wave down can be, in this case, the beginning of a decent move on the downside. For example, you can argue that maybe this is going to be 5 down into 1 correction for wave 2. And then we are going to have another move down into wave 3 and 4 and 5. So, according to this scenario, if we are going to get a move up in Yasmin coin, which I believe we talked about it in the previous videos, there is a decent chance that we might get a move up because I said, if this is a 5 wave down to about here, or maybe even here, doesn't really matter that much, then after it, okay, we are going to have a decent move on the upside. However, this is a very important point. That move is going to be a correction a structure, probably in form of a WXY or maybe an ABC expanded flat. And it means, well, after this move up in the short term is over, we are probably going to get another move down and we shouldn't really be trusting this move up a whole lot in Yasmikon. So again, whether you are going to be bullish or bearish in here, it seems like that we can get a continuation of this move up for a bit more. But for me, I am still going to consider the bearish scenario as my primary case that suggests, you know what, after this move is over, we are probably going to continue our move on the downside. Now, a lucky target for this move up can be, if I just take the Fibonacci retracement, there we go, somewhere around the 61.8% of the Fibonacci retracement level, which is going to be right around here, about, let's say, 2.3 cents. So, from here, we can get about, let's say, like a 10 to 15% move on the upside. But again, I'm not going to be optimistic about this move up that much. And here is my final reason for believing this move up may continue a little bit more. You see, when this move down happened, it was a bit too fast. And in H4 time frame, we curated a very, very clear gap, which is going to be, you're probably going to guess it correctly, somewhere around the 2.3 cents region. And I believe gaps 95 plus percent of the time are going to get filled. So to me, it makes perfect sense to say that, okay, if we're going to get a correction up in Yasmin coin, makes sense to have this very important area as a very lucky target. But again, after we fill this gap and maybe we reach to somewhere around this very important resistance area, I'm counting on another move on the downside. So in Yasmin coin overall, I think we are having still some more downward price action but in the mid to long term do not get me wrong i am 1000 percent bullish and i do believe that whatever move on the downside that we are having in this area starting from the highest side in here about let's say 4.4 cents to somewhere around the recent price action it's just going to be a correction structure and after it's over we are going to get some huge huge moves on the upside and the majority of the bull run in the asmi coin most likely is still yet remain to be seen so i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in yasmin coins price chart anyway 
If you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for you on a specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some decent TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And until the next video, I hope you have a wonderful time. Goodbye.